Hey everybody, Mark from TGC, and today we've got another Maker's Eye product. This is our third part of this review, and um, yeah, we're gonna open up, try out, right after this. Okay, I have to admit, when I decided to make this a four-part review, I was really only going by the number of products I have. That is, I had four boxes of this, and I just basically said like, well, shoot, I might as well just do one for each day of this week and then edit them together, and now you know some of my creative processes. Uh, this particular kit looks like it has some of the uh, similarities to some of the other kits that I've already done. and. Um, but I wanted to use this thing as a demonstration of something, and hopefully I'm going to get that right. Uh, but first, let's open her up. Okay, so, something you'll notice right away, this is one of those that comes with the boxes. Or a box, but in it is sort of like a tactical box-like thing, for lack of a better term. Because they usually come plastic, and then they have kind of all these little compartments in them. And, yeah, so... And they've got the instruction manual right here, and with the stuff inside. This is not really anything new, we've done something like this before. Um, so, I'm not even certain whether I even should introduce the type of pieces that they have here. Um, it's interesting that these bags are numbered, I just noticed that now. At least these ones are numbered, uh, some of the other kits I noticed weren't. And let me just check on this, but these bags are uh, impossible to open. I mean, Lego bags, when I do that, it's a, they come open like a bag of chips, but uh, not these. Okay, I just realized I didn't have my mics in my ears, and um, hopefully those last two few takes went well. But, let's look at these instructions. Okay, so in this here, I noticed that this is uh, one of those motor slash uh, intelligent bricks. And we had those on the last one we did in part two. And I'm just going to take a guess here. And that this is operated by two AAA batteries. And I believe I'm correct here. Once again, I'm going to have to go to my remote on my TV and uh, scavenge those. Okay, here's the funny story. See this remote? This is a LEGO remote for LEGO Technic power functions. If I uh, do it, a light comes on. This has three AAA batteries in it. When I try to, try to take the AAA batteries from here and put them in here, this doesn't work. I have no idea why. Okay, yeah, I got that out of my system. I just kind of had to feel like I brought that up. The comparisons of these to a LEGO Technic are going to be very obvious, so yeah. Anyway, something we haven't tried using is the sensor that this comes with. And um, I think I've explained that this thing has an app with building instructions. And today, I decided to build something that I believe will... that has the sensor on it. It's called the Intelligent Gate. And this thing has a list of, uh, of lots of things you can build on it. And you can see on here, and on this box, uh, just how many things you can build with this thing. So, they've got instructions for them all. So, uh, and they're all available online. And yes, I think I forgot to mention this, but you do have to download the program on it, but uh, they make that pretty simple. So, um, but yeah, there's like a, you know, there's a drummer. Uh, for some reason, there's like a whole band going on here. And if they used a sensor, which I think they do, hmm, I might actually build this guy. But uh, unfortunately, I really, um, due to time considerations, and considering how many uh, creations there are in this, I'm just not going to be able to build everything with this, but um, I think it's pretty awesome. Hmm. The intelligent car has a sensor on it. Huh. You know what? I might just build that. Okay, as you can see, I have assembled the intelligent car right here. It didn't take me long. like. I swear, like 15 minutes. Instructions are very simple, and it has the sensor attached. And as you can see, I can make it do things just by putting my hand in front of it. And then by taking it away, it does that. Now there's switches on the back that can control this thing, and I forget how it does it. But if I were to do that, that happens. 
Okay, essentially the sensors can do things and they have switches that I haven't really discovered how they work, uh, but they're very uh, binary in how they operate. So, say like, yes. So it's sort of like, is the sensor blocked? Yes, then go. That kind of functionality we're talking about here. It's actually very awesome and it didn't require me using any controls on the app to do it. It just uh, set me apart in the uh, instruction booklet. Um, and yeah, I was able to set it up. So surely this isn't the only thing that this can build. And yeah, so I gotta admit. Stop, stop, that's odd, stop. Yeah, I haven't quite worked out uh, everything with this yet, but, uh, huh. Uh, stop now if you're like, stop. <laughs> okay, it worked. Okay, now it's back to normal. I don't know why turning it around actually, uh, caused, actually, does it work that way? The turning around goes, uh, all this way. Why is that? That intelligent sensor really knows its stuff. Okay, so if you want to get it on this uh, smart robot kit, it's available for about $45.90 on the uh, Makerzoid site. It's been Mark Rollins from Geek Church, signing off.